Hi, my name is Pat Drury. I manage the Global Outbreak Alert and Response Network for WHO. From the beginning, we've known that rapid mobile laboratory support, which is deployed directly in the field to provide investigative support and diagnostic support to patients, is a critical part of outbreak response. It's the linchpin around which many of the other disciplines are able to work most effectively. And it's crucial that we're able to work with countries and partners to build this capacity worldwide. Over the past 20 years, Gorn, through Gorn, laboratory capacity has one, been one of the biggest components of what we've deployed to the field. In terms of the emergency management cycle, building the network of emergency mobile laboratories is a critical part of preparedness. Being able to trigger that capacity at a national level very rapidly at the earliest onset of an outbreak and internationally when requests from countries come in for additional support is a key contribution to that alert and response aspect of the emergency management cycle. Donors can have greater confidence that what they invest in is recognized, standardized, supported by WHO. The standardizing process will ensure that the foundations are the same irrespective of what part of the world we're going to be challenged to deal with the next emerging pandemic. When that next pandemic starts, having already invested in this laboratory capacity will be, will be one of the smartest things that donors can have done. The people who go to the field as laboratory experts don't go as heroes. They are deployed with a great sense of privilege in terms of service to the community that they're going to. I think it's a tremendous legacy for those who've deployed to the field. Uh, I'm very personally very proud and happy to have worked with uh, each and every one of them. <laughs>